David Yulevich founded his first company, Every DNS, while a student at Washington University. Every DNS became the largest free DNS service in the world. I joke here at work that I had the full college experience, and I just leave it at that so they can sort of wonder what that means. But I did have the full college experience at WashU, and I think that's part of what's made me uh, the person I am today. My most memorable experience is actually one that's probably not the most positive experience. I sort of got in trouble for operating a service out of my dorm room, but I could have gotten in real trouble. In theory, I broke some rules and I could have probably been expelled, but instead, what ended up happening was that I met Matt Arthur, who ran ResTech, and I think he realized it meant no harm, and he ultimately gave me a job at ResTech. He chose to be really compassionate and realize that kids make mistakes and college is a place to make mistakes. And for me, that was illustrative not just of Wash U, but also how leaders can make decisions. If I had been expelled, it could have changed the trajectory of my life. I studied anthropology because I found not just the course material more interesting, but even the composition of the students in the class way more interesting. As an anthropology background it really helped me understand different perspectives and people, and that helps me with customers, it helps me with hiring, it helps me with issues around diversity and inclusion, it helps me just have a broader perspective. And that's something that I value tremendously. In cybersecurity, it may surprise people, but there's a lot of parallels to epidemiology and public health. When there's outbreaks and you want to quarantine populations, you want to inoculate people, you want to vaccinate people, the same thing is true in cybersecurity. That's why we have antivirus. That's why we do things like segmented parts of the network so that when there's a problem in one area, it doesn't affect things in other areas of the network. So there's actually more parallels than people think. Our world is an increasingly interconnected place and knowing our past, and having a broad set of liberal arts backgrounds, I think sets up people up for success at dealing with the world we live in. And I think that's more important today as people get more insular, that a liberal arts education allows you to think more broadly and act more broadly. I'm not necessarily in love with technology, I'm in love with the potential of technology. I don't have one of those like computer watches. I'm a late adopter, I don't have the new iPhone, but I love networking. I love the internet because it has no borders. It's a great connector it's a great disintermediator, and I love that the power that that affords us as a society. David sold his first company and started OpenDNS, which he later sold to Cisco. He is now Senior Vice President and General Manager of Cisco Security Business. David is considered a luminary in the cybersecurity industry. The company he created and the products he created, they're widely used. People know OpenDNS. My interest in cybersecurity came from actually that first company I started, EveryDNS.net. Because we had a global presence and we had thousands of customers around the world, we ended up becoming a target. The bad guys would use it to host their phishing sites or to host their malware. And so as a result, we became very good at detecting proactively when bad guys were gonna use our service and blocking them so that we weren't actually a source of badness on the internet. One of the things that really stands out is he is willing to do the hard work. He is willing to endure the pain, and I do mean the pain, that it takes to do something amazing, extraordinary, to, to build something that is meaningful. His hashtag for OpenDNS was one team, one dream. And even in those heated moments that, that happen in companies and teams and amongst executives, he will say, you know, we're having a, a tough conversation, but it's in service of one team, one dream. We're trying to get, or, get to a better outcome. Everybody plays a role in winning. One Team, One Dream is all about winning together as a team. So I think people, when they talk about culture, it sort of is an overloaded term. Sometimes people think it means like foosball tables and ping pong tables in an office or free food. To me, culture is a representation of the values that you have and how you express them. So to me, that's about transparency. What's the health and state of the business? How are we performing? What are our challenges and what's important? He establishes relationships that are really unique and magical because people will do anything for him. And that's how leaders gain a reputation. He has such a big personality. He's very fun. He will um, talk about how big cybersecurity is as, as an industry, and then he'll send you a doggy video. He wants to live a very big life and believes that you can work hard and play harder. For someone who has achieved as much as David has at such a young age, one might wonder, what's next? I love to read. I would love to write a book at some point. I don't know if I could do that, but I'd like to try. I thought when I'd graduate from Wash U that I'd go hike the Pacific Crest Trail. I ended up just working for the last 14 years, so I think I have some catching up to do on the hiking. And uh, we'll see. <laughs>